Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range today and we're going to do a range comparison with the SIG P365 and the Ruger Max 9. The P365 has been around a lot longer, many of you know that. The Max 9 has been around a couple years now, but they measure up very close. 3.2 inch barrel on the right with the Max 9, 3.1 inch barrel with the P365. Both have 12 round magazines in there both way right around 24 ounces loaded with 12 rounds let's start with the max 9 when ruger came out with this a lot of people were happy they included a 12 and a 10 round mag currently that's all you can get for that or for this it has an integrated barrel bushing right there okay we see that with some of their other models all of the max 9s come optic ready for 14 different optics. I currently have a Sightmark Mini shot on there. I had that on there for a while now. So this has an optic, the SIG doesn't. Uh, fiber optic, tritium front sight, serrated black rear sight, forward serrations. A trigger that I am measuring right at five pounds with the reset right there. The biggest complaint with the Max 9 is the disassemble. You have to Lower that gate right there and then punch a pin out. A lot of people said that's a little too complicated. You can lose the pin and all that's true. But, you know, I typically disassemble when I'm at home. But I understand you may have to do that at the range. But let's go ahead and take a few shots. They also cost around the same. Uh, I'm going to talk about the P365 and the costs associated with that. But here we go with the Max 9. And that was, I believe, 10 shots. The Max 9, I've always enjoyed it. I've compared it with a couple other handguns, and I, I think it's a quality made handgun. Uh, Ruger has a fine reputation, and I think they increased it with the Max 9. And I like it that all of them are optic ready. Now, from its launch, it had right around an MSRP of $500. That has increased, like so many manufacturers have done, but, you know, I think it's worth it. I think they did a very nice job and that 10 round magazine sits flush for those who want the smallest grip when carrying. Uh, the trigger does have a trigger bar safety, but overall, I think the Max 9 is a fine handgun. But now we have the P365. You may notice that this one has a flat face trigger that's called an X trigger. Now the P365X is optic ready. This is not. So I'm not gonna give the advantage to the Ruger because they now make it. But with the P365X, they include a Sig Romeo red dot on there. You're looking at right around, right around $800, a little more actually. But they've expanded the line. This I bought with a tack pack, it comes with three 12 round magazines and a holster that's not that great. <laughs> it does have Siglite night sights though, and I think that is a bonus, and I think that when you include night sights in the case, I like that. Okay, Glock, are you listening? I know some of your models, not most do not. But anyways, the flat trigger breaks right at five and a quarter pounds. Already mentioned, 24 ounces loaded with 12 rounds so the, the weight's the same the size is essentially the same shooting impressions let's see how this goes i have to believe i, I uh, shot faster or i will have shot faster with the max 9 because i had the red dot on there you know i'm trying to keep it as level as possible i'm not going to take out off the red dot for this review but here we go That target over there gave me a few issues, but that was 100% on me. The P365 has very simple disassemble, and it is very popular amongst the CCW world. It's been around longer. Sig claims they made the, the gun around the mag. At the time, it was a 10-round mag. Now they have 12 rounds, even 15-round mags for it. So 
SIG has expanded. Of course, they have the XL model. Maybe Ruger will do the same in the future. Make a, a four inch barrel, a 3.7 inch barrel, the way Springfield did. It also has forward serrations and right around the same weight. So you've got an easier disassemble here. You've got a little more disassemble here, but they all come optic ready. So both have their pros and cons to it. And that stands true with just about any handgun that you review or any review that you have seen on YouTube. Which one would I choose? If this was optic ready, and I'm not, I'm not a major optic guy. Most of my optic ready handguns do not have optics on there. I've got probably eight that have optics on there, but I like it that that's available on every Max 9. They also make them with a thumb safety. Same with SIG with the P365. They also make them with a thumb safety. So thumb safety guys can have their choice. Anyways, uh, I like it out of the gate. I like to disassemble with the P365. The overall feel, not a great difference. I think the build quality is a little bit better. No wobble in the slide. Little, little wobble there. Does it make a difference? I haven't noticed. A little bit less cost. You know, you add the red dot, it's still a little bit less than the P365, but I'm going to get to it now. If I had to choose one with the optic ready, I would go with the P365, all things included. However, if price was an issue, and it always is, let's face it, I'll go with the Max 9, no problem. I, I love this handgun. I think it's a phenomenal handgun. I think they both are, but what I really want to know is which one would you choose if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe